instead of one term. Oops, sorry. And uh, this flexible uh, risk assessment is uh, essentially it helps maximize buyers' chances of getting approval uh, for such funds. Um, and two, it is truly dynamic in the sense that it's based on the buyer's needs. Uh, dynamic net terms automatically increases buyer's net terms limit as they continue to build their order history and maintain on-time payments on the Fashion Go platform. And thirdly, uh, perhaps most importantly, uh, no fees to use and no hidden costs. Um, net terms is uh, completely free for all buyers on the platform to apply on any Fashion Go orders. Uh, so with this, Karen, uh, Fashion Go, uh, we're going beyond connecting the buyers and the brands. We're optimizing the buying process seamlessly and, and efficiently, perhaps, uh, as their financial partner uh, with a customer forward payment innovation uh, with dynamic net terms. Uh, dynamic net terms is, is exclusive to Fashion Go and Balance, our fintech partner. Mm -hmm. and, and we're very proud to, uh, to be the first to deliver such a powerful solution to the market. You know, it might be helpful just because I see some of our newer members on here that might know not know exactly what Fashion Go does. Um, and, you know, what are traditional terms with platforms like, like Fashion Go? So maybe back up even just to the beginning of, um, you know, why it's so special and different. Yeah, so if you start with, historical uh, historical and current, uh, the way net terms are provided in the marketplace, Karen, uh, the current net terms solutions that exist today uh, operate on perhaps a very outdated risk models and lending infrastructure. What that means is that traditional net term qualification is very binary uh, process, meaning it's either yes, you qualify or no, you don't. Uh, and that type of process leaves um, many small and medium-sized businesses from outside looking in. And, mm -hmm. and these are the folks who perhaps need the, uh, the funds the most. Uh, the, this generalized approach and limited uh, financial data sources uh, can perhaps overlook the true credit worthiness of these type of retail buyers. Uh, this ultimately results in lower net terms approval rate in the industry. Uh, I, and I think that average uh, averages anywhere between five to 15%. Uh, we at Fashion Go obviously don't think that buyers should have to manage a business on a yes or no binary basis. Mm -hmm. uh, so as a leader in the B2B wholesale landscape, uh, we, we are taking on the cost uh, to share the burden of growth and and making this investment on both the buyers and vendors' behalf uh, so that they can ignite their business through the introduction of dynamic net terms. And ultimately, our aim with this product would be to uh, have an approval rating uh, five to six times uh, higher than the industry standard. Wow. Okay. Um, and... There is a question, so I'm going to pop the question in um, now. It says, sure. will the payout to brands be different percentages based on the payment terms the customer selects? Uh, the, the short answer is no. Uh, it's The vendors are paid out uh, fairly uh, immediately um, you know, after the, the order is placed and shipped ultimately. And so it's, mm -hmm. uh, but it's consistent across all the terms and, and nothing changes uh, for the vendors. Got it, got it. So nothing exchange changes for the vendor, the vendor, but the buyer's experience will be improved. Absolutely, uh, either the buyers, uh, well, a couple of things here. One is that uh, it benefits this product really benefits both the, the buyers and the vendors, uh, really, because for the buyers, essentially with this product, you're increasing their purchasing power. 
-hmm. And this product allows the buyer to use both the available net term uh, through dynamic net terms, plus whatever availability they have on their credit card, let's say, uh, for business use. So that's a significantly higher purchasing power. And that gives you the ability to make purchases, uh, pre-orders across uh, in many different categories. For, for the vendors, it's uh, a better sell-through of their products, one, and then it you know speeds up the sales cycle. Uh, meaning they're paid out immediately uh, by our uh, payment solution. Got it. Uh, you know, when I think of Fashion Go, beyond the exceptional customer service and attention that you give to your customers, I think of you as a technology company. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, you know, I must wonder about the technology behind how does this work? How do you decide who gets the credit? Um you know, is it an AI credit uh, solution? What's what's behind it? Sure. Uh, so again, like traditional fintech and online wholesale platform approaches, uh, Fashion Go's dynamic net terms uh, focuses on understanding the customer's purchasing journey and mm -hmm. providing innovative solutions to address real needs and demands. Uh, what does that mean? So we partnered with a company called Balance. Uh, they're a leading fintech company that specializes in addressing the comprehensive financial requirements of B2B businesses. Global enterprises uh, use Balance, for example, to accept, finance, and manage B2B payments digitally. So the credit decision-making technology is powered by balance uh, as they underwrite and qualify buyers. However, mm -hmm. the parameters uh, for underwriting are focused more on fashion goes buyers platforms characteristics versus traditional general industry characteristics where uh, they may fall into this binary type of approval process. Uh, and yes, uh, the technology does utilize AI to analyze diverse data sources and underwrite buyers uh, perhaps could have been rejected by traditional systems due to limited data availability. Um, this real-time assessment offers dynamic payment suggestions and credit limits tailored to each business. Uh, the model also consider considers purchasing history with Fashion Go where applicable. And um, I, I would say that Ultimately, uh, um, the, the, the most salient point being uh, deploying this technology is efficient and quick and adapts to the unique needs of small businesses, offering flexible terms to support their business operations effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, the model uh, can also automatically adjust their net term credit limit based on on-time payments and order history, meaning your availability, the limit increase can increase over time. So the result is an advanced technology and model that ensures that every business uh, receives the right level of terms and funding to grow. Got it. And once you start the process, how long does it, um, how long does that take? So it's uh, it's real time. Uh, there's uh, in our platform. There's uh, there's a place where you can apply, and um, the credit uh, approval process, underwriting process, is such that you will need to provide certain basic data about the business. And on top of that, uh, what gets also analyzed is data that's available uh within fashion goes ecosystem as far as the buys the buyers uh purchasing history let's say mm -hmm. got it and um you know we talked about um a little bit about you know fashion go what you do but are there other similar applications on different b2b e-commerce sites um on this model or is this just something that you oh, need no to yeah. yeah, it is. It's very unique. Uh, the, the short answer, Karen, is none. Uh, we're, <laughs> okay. we're pioneering uh, a first-of-its-kind B2B payment solution 
uh, that perhaps will set a new gold standard, uh, if you will, um, in how businesses transact in B2B, um, something that has never been offered before. And we are, again, uh, not to be redundant, but we're very proud <laughs> to deliver such a powerful solution to the market. Uh, there was obviously a need, uh, especially at this time with the current turbulent retail and economic climate, where access to funding is critical for mm -hmm. business to operate and succeed. Our And it, we at Fashion Go, our commitment remains very strong in supporting our buyers and the wholesale ecosystem mm -hmm. at large uh, in, in a very impactful way by broadening uh, access to critical funds for smaller retailers. Uh, ultimately, we understand that retail businesses of all sizes uh, matter uh, and are equally valuable to, to the economy and certainly to our Fashion Go platform. Well, it sounds like everybody wins. The retailers have um, you know, more favorable credit terms and ability to buy and the wholesalers are going to win because they're going to be able to buy more and buy it, you know, plan, plan their businesses. I would think a little bit more in advance instead of waiting for that check to come to place the goods. Um, hey, we have some other questions. Um, it says, will the terms change as your business changes, you started assert, asserting uh, certain dating and can you get more favorable dating? Um, so I guess as you grow and you prove yourself, does your, uh, does it, um, does it improve or would it improve? Oh, yes. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I think I understand the question. Yes. So if you, let's say a, uh, go through an approval underwriting process and you're approved for uh, X amount uh, at that point in time. As you continue to uh, uh, demonstrate a purchasing history and repayment history over time and uh, the AI algorithm in, in the dynamic net term solution picks up on that, there's an automatic uh, suggestion to increase the limit and meaning you, you will have higher ability and higher uh, access to funds to grow your business. Gotcha. All right. Anyone have other questions on um, any questions for Paul or us? Um, I think what I would say is that, uh, you know, over the last few years, I, I don't know if everyone's on has worked with Fashion Go. But I think what you'll find is a team that really uh, cares about their vendors. They care about the retailers. And I see this as a super thoughtful um, and innovative approach on to, you know, how to serve everyone in the ecosystem better. Um, there is another question. It says, how do you get started as a wholesaler on Fashion Go and what is required? Good question. <laughs> How do you get a uh, start? Uh, well, uh, so there is a vendor onboarding team and there are certain, um, I don't think I have the full list in front of me, but uh, there's essentially a checklist. Uh, obviously, you have to have certain uh, business licenses and um, have a business and, and show documentation uh, to prove that you're a business. Uh, beyond that is sort of talking through your you know goals and objectives uh, and your product category and really having a conversation with our sales team about how the platform could help you uh, attract buyers and and ultimately sell on the platform. Yeah, we we're happy to connect you to um, the team at Fashion Go. If you have questions about onboarding, a number of our members use uh, Fashion Go to sell products. Um, over a million registered buyers, Paul. And yes, it's yes. kind of a remarkable um, place to put your product in front of many um, retailers that you may not get to see on a regular basis. So using an online um, service to reach the um, 
you know, reach the retailers and we think has been, well, we know it's been game changing for a number of our brands. Just, you know, is it right for everyone? Maybe not, but it's right for a lot of our members. And it's worth, you know, I know that your team is so um, helpful in, you know, working with the onboarding process for, for, for at least for our AC members, I'm sure for all of them, but our AC members have had a great experience. Yes, yeah. uh, well, thank you for that, Karen. And and uh, this may be a little bit late uh, as, as far as plugging fashion go, but you know, for those in the audience who may not be as familiar uh, with the platform, uh, we are the largest pure play uh, wholesale online fashion marketplace. Uh, believe it or not, we've been around since 2002. Currently, we connect thousands of brands uh, with hundreds of thousands of retail buyers across 11 different categories. And that includes accessories, obviously, uh, apparel, footwear, beauty, and beyond. And we've always taken pride in bringing uh, innovations driven by technology as a tech platform to really uh, enhance the, the purchasing uh journey for for the buyers um on this platform and you know having been around for decades now we understand the pain points uh for the whole sale transaction process and and therefore we're constantly thinking of ways to bring innovation to alleviate the pain points and actually make the process uh better and dynamic net terms uh the launch of that uh we embarked that on that process to uh, address this funding need. Right. So there was another question about how you connect um, the retailers to the products, to the, you know, how are you making that connection online? So if the registration process is uh, fairly easy, uh, again, there is registration. It is a closed environment because it's B2B and it's not open to end users or end consumers. Uh, but if you're a buyer, and you want to register with Fashion Go, essentially you're submitting simple documents as far as uh, you know, perhaps a reseller document or a business license or something along that uh, elk. And then you have uh, immediate access to uh, hundreds of brands and thousands of brands uh, to shop from. So it's once you're registered, you're able to um, you know, uh, Go through the go through the site and browse and 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 as you build uh, history, the recommendation again. Our platform is also AI driven, and and given your interests and needs and product categories that perhaps you may be looking to procure, uh, there will be recommendations uh, for you tailored for you. One and then two, um, we do have a section called Best of the Best where you see all of the best items that are being sold on the platform on a daily basis. Uh, you know, on a given day, we have 3 million SKUs that are being sold and displayed. So there's there's obviously lots to choose from, and that can be time consuming. But given our background in uh, in tech, in search particularly, we make the, the, the search process and procurement process very easy and efficient. Mm -hmm. So I put a link into the chat on a seminar that Grace um, did for us about a year ago, and it will answer a lot of the basic questions because I do see some um, basic questions coming through, which we're going to um, answer and get to. So if you want like kind of the fundamental one on ones of what Fashion Go does definitely watch uh, the YouTube uh, webinar. And, you know, we do record these sessions and others, so they're there for you to um, take a peek at. But um, so the link for that is there. And if you miss it, just go to the accessorycouncil.org website. So there's a question, is there a fee for buyers to join Fashion Go? No, it's completely free for the buyers. It's completely and, free for the buyers. And for the wholesalers? Wholesalers, uh, there's uh, there is a commission structure for the wholesaler. So if you're a seller, uh, um, there is a commission structure. But for the for the retailers, uh, it's absolutely free. Right. And um, someone asked in the million buyers that are registered, 
where are they located? So uh, it's national. So, you know, most, uh, I would say if you go through the top 10, well, we have presidents nationally across the entire country, but if you look at the top, call it 10, 15, uh, you'll see the obvious states with huge popula populations, uh, bigger states, uh, you know, California, New York, Florida, uh, Texas, and places like that. But essentially, uh, given uh, given that, that Fashion Go is a digital platform, uh, we see buyers from you know many many different states. So M North America mainly is where all yes. those buyers are located, and that is almost any kind of retailer. Um, you know, it could be a small single shop, you know, mom and pop kind of a store, all the way up to chains. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, I always say that it runs a gamut, right? People, you know, you know, mom and pop, you know, you know, you could be, you could have folks who are operating out of their basement, all the way to multi-chain independent retailers uh, who are, you know, uh, transacting, procuring massive volume, but it really caters to everyone. And getting back to dynamic net terms, I mean, this uh, launch, uh, this you know, payment solutions uh, innovation is targeted and is really meant to uh, assist and help the smaller retailers um, get funding and grow their businesses. Mm -hmm. Which is, um, you know, which is terrific for the wholesalers who are on your account because they can't do that anywhere else. So they have to buy their product through Cash and Go to get those kinds of terms. So it's a big incentive for um, the members who are thinking of putting it there. Now, there's a question about a wholesaler that's just getting started and what can they do to get your, you know, more visibility to your product. And what we tell um, all of our members is that there's no single answer. You know, it is uh, exposure to consumers. It's having a great social presence, um, you know, trying for traditional PR sometimes, um, you know, it's going to trade shows and it's kind of see and be seen again and again and again. But when you think about how you're going to sell your goods, um, you know, obviously you want to think about platforms, B2B platforms like Fashion Go, because it gives you a whole different um, channel and avenue to reach buyers that you don't have time to reach in the course of a day. You know, one person, we all, you know, no matter what we do, we all are limited by time and you can only do so much. So having a partner like a Fashion Go um, can be a great way to just um, expand your expand your exposure and introduce you to customers that you may not have even thought or known to call. Yeah, you know, one thing uh, I realized uh, since the pandemic, Karen, uh, is that Fashion Go and the physical trade shows ultimately they're complementary. Um, I don't, you know, I don't think it's necessarily just one or the other. Uh, there are people who certainly like to travel to trade shows and touch and feel and make the the in person connections. Um, where the advantage. Uh, is with uh, digital platform is that it's twenty four seven and it's uh, it's cost effective, it's efficient, and when you have a platform such as Fashion Go that's focused on technology, uh, just to plug you know two more things, mm -hmm. um, I, I go back to the question about the ability to search and look for products and be connected to brands. Uh, we have this tool called uh, Style Match Plus, which is a visual search. Mm -hmm. So, typical a uh, search uh, on the uh, you know on the net uh, in a platform is you know you type in certain keywords, white blouse, and you get certain hits, and you'll see the vendors who are selling such products. With Style Match Plus, it, it's a uh, it's a visual aid, it's a visual search engine. Uh, meaning, if you take a picture of a certain clothing that you'd like and you upload that image to Fashion Go, you'll get hits immediately of all the vendors who are selling similar products. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that happens instant, instantly. And that's driven by our technology. And 
we also have uh, what's called FG Live, where uh, I'm, I'm actually sitting in the studio right now, where the vendors come in on a weekly basis and they have a live selling show. And, and that caters to, um, to the vendors promoting their uh, latest arrivals um, and or, or perhaps discounted pro uh, products to a live audience, uh, you know, as we're doing now. And I think, but the buyers have uh, viewed that to be a massive perk as well. So we're constantly upgrading and changing uh, the, the buying landscape so that the, the purchasing journey gets easier, more efficient and, and informed so that uh, you make the right purchasing decisions because uh, the ultimate goal is that, uh, you're selling, right? You're selling at your boutique. Yeah. And you're right in downtown LA. So if anybody's happens to be on the West coast, um, you know, definitely worth taking a peek at what you're doing in, um, you know, seeing what you're doing live. I, um, I love the search that you mentioned, you know, you could pop in, I want a red sock and all the red socks will come up, um, which is, you know, pretty unique and special. Um, and, you know, I, I, I compliment you and the team. I think that the payment terms is it's different than any, but anybody else is doing. And um, I see it as a game changer. Um, so I can't wait to see how, you know, hear the stories and see how it helps propel businesses. Yeah. And, and we, and you know, another thing I will say about our marketplace, uh, Karen, is that there's high touch, meaning, you know, from the vendor, uh, buyer onboarding processes. Uh, you know, we have teams to assist, answer any questions uh, at the onset, and then beyond that, once they're on the platform. So if you're a vendor, you're talking to, you go from the sales team to the account management team, and they're here to answer any questions. Uh, not only answer questions, to work with you to figure out ways to better sell your products, uh, better visibility strategies. Um, and uh, conversely, for, for the buyers, we have a team where you can't have your answers, uh, questions, whether or not that's uh, uh, on the procurement side or certain you know, issues that you may have uh, with, with the platform. Um, you know, we, we think of our audience as um, the most critical element to driving our um, innovation and you know feedback is very important and um, getting back to what I was saying earlier about our long history since 2002 it's really it, fixing the pain points along the way and making this process very efficient yeah um, I put my email into the chat. If anybody wants more information, they want to reach out, we're happy to provide. And I also put Kiara's uh, email in there. Kiara, um, you know, can be your front line if you're thinking about Fashion Go as a service or you have more questions that are specific. She can connect you with the right person on the Fashion Go team, depending on whether you're a retailer or you're a wholesaler. Um, and then, of course, we have many members that use the service that we, you know, we know um, can talk firsthand about how it's worked for them and how it's helped them um, really expand and grow. So wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. I can't wait to see you guys in a few weeks. Hopefully uh, we'll see you at the AC Showcase. We'll see you at the Ace Awards. And um, if anyone else has questions, please do reach out. Have a great Wednesday. Thank you so much, Karen. Take care. Really enjoyed the conversation. Always. Nice to see you. Nice to see you.